Hi everybody. I'm not actually me layout today. I'm uh, in the garden shed. It's quite a nice day, so I just thought I'd uh, do another sort of bridge build. I haven't made a video for about the last more well, nearly a month now, so uh, I just thought I'd better let you know I'm still around. Now the bridge I'm going to build is this. It's a modular suspension bridge, LO gauge. So we we'll see how we go. So let's see what we get. Instructions. There's quite a few pages here. The pillars. The road part. Quite a lot to this. So to start off with I make the towers. Right, well there's uh, all the bits to build the towers. So we start off by um, putting the blind windows in. They do say use PVA with this, so I'll go along with the instructions. So just here I'm just using a bit of a paintbrush just to run the PVA. Around the edges sort of thing. Now that's the first one done. If I can get it right. So that's these four pieces done with the blanks in and the next one on the instructions is putting these windows in I think there's four of those yeah right so that's the windows in as well so the next thing to do is join them all up There's just dab a bit of PVA in between the teeth. Probably easy if I do it down. Right, well I've finished these two, put the uh, roofs on, 
and the floors. So the next thing is to actually making the structure of the tower. One thing I did find um, with the wet PVA, obviously it can tend to just make the cardboard warp a little. So if you just put some weights on those, let it dry. <clears throat> and it seems to work okay. Now this I found very fiddly. You've got to actually get four of the walls on there. And now I've just put that one across just to try and keep the stanchions at 90 degrees. I must say the actual fitting is excellent, the cutting, the size and everything. And the finish, the fact you haven't got to paint it. But we'll see what it turns out like. So there's all four of the side walls and the pillars. Now what I've got to do now is put these on the inside. So you, all you see is brick when you look on the inside. push one up here to see if it um, will fit and it seems to have glued itself oh there we are so like I said I'm just using a bit of PVA and that should also strengthen the distance as well I'm also gluing the uh, ones on these, obviously these are going to go, hopefully. So now I've got to get that to fit over there. But now those inner parts are there, they should hold both sections of wall, so I'll give it a go. PVA seems to be getting everywhere. Right, so that's still on both the ends on, on both of them, that's just still setting. The next part is to get some of this brick paper here that obviously came with the kit and line the inside of the legs. Hopefully a bit better than that. Anyway, I'll put some PVA on, see how I go. It should be better when it's wet, hopefully. So that's the inner walls. It's quite effective actually. And then I'll just I'll cut those off when it's all set. So that's the bottom half of the uh, towers done. Apart from just some decorative edging that goes there. And then I should both join all the towers up and uh, look at the bridge. So that's the bottom of the towers made, so now it's just a matter of gluing them on. And the tower should be complete then. So there's both the towers finished. Apparently this is a single bridge for OO, or it can be a double rail bridge for end gauge. Obviously I'm building it for OO. So now it's starting on the chain link. You actually get two pieces ice and then these joiners, these fit in between every link. So it's going to take some time because there's four to do. 
So I'll see you later. Right, I'm halfway through doing the chain link fencing for the bridge. It's very fiddly, I must admit. So, anyway, so uh, I'm going to call it a day. I've run out of time. So I'll put this up on my channel and uh, see what people think. So if you comment, it'll be excellent. All right, well, thanks for watching. And hopefully part two won't be too far away. Maybe Friday, actually. Okay, thanks. Bye for now. Bye.